Well, the first word I got about the bridge run was from uh, my friend Terry Hamlin uh, and Mark Newberry, and they had come up with this idea to do a run over the Cooper River Bridge. And I thought it was a fantastic idea, but the community had no sense of how anything like that would make sense. The bridge run came about at the time that I was really getting revved up into running. You know, it just was, uh, it was fun to run. There were a lot of races in the area, you know, that were starting to come along. It was a really, uh, a, a, the beginning of this, this health, uh, the health and fitness uh, concept with people. Well, I guess back in those days, there were about four or five of us that ran at the school where I was working. We went all over the state. In fact, the day before, we went down to Graniteville, ran a 10K, and you heard about it that way. So we did that on the Saturday, and then we came back here and ran the uh, Cooper River Bridge on Sunday. Well, the, the first bridge run, as you can imagine, was so much different than the bridge runs now, where there are 40,000 people, and. Kenyans and prize money and bands everywhere. You know, we just kind of took off and ran over the bridge down Meeting Street to the Battery, and it, it wasn't any big deal. You know, we didn't know it was going to become a, a legend and a tradition for Charleston. Having water stations and formal lines and, and the, uh, the security and things like that just were not, uh, they weren't part of the, of the, uh, of the race uh, atmosphere. It was more of an informal kind of a gathering, but I mean, the, the people were serious. The guys that were, were running were serious, and you ran your race, and then you were with your buddies. You know, it was a, just more of a good time. I understand the uh, church people didn't like it. They thought these were a bunch of crazy people running there. They were half naked, you know, and uh, man, we didn't have any water. It was, I think we started the race at 10 o'clock. On that first day, I would have never thought at some point I would be sitting here talking about running all 40 of them. I mean, it would never have crossed my mind. And the interesting thing was there were a couple of years early on I almost didn't do it. Well, I've been lucky. I've had two major setbacks. Uh, about 15 years ago I started going numb in my feet. Well, some people say I've always been numb between my ears. And then I had a heart attack back in uh, 2013. I got through that, so I feel lucky. The night before, it just ended up such a late night for me because I was closing the, the restaurant down that I only got a few hours sleep. So I hit the alarm and I said, man, next year. And I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I got up and I ran that thing and it was very painful. As I recall, it was very hot. I mean, I've had some great races, great memories of, of this race. And uh, it's, just, it's just fun. It's been a part of my life. It's been fun to be part of all 40 years. I used to get concerned about the old ladies and the old guys and the little kids stopping and starting. Well, now I'm one of them. So be careful what you say in this life because it'll, it'll come back and bite you. So now I'm just happy to finish. I've always said if you finish, you win. And that's sort of been my philosophy, so I want to keep winning.